In a sleepy village on the edge of the Laconian plain, something is stirring. The night is still and calm. All that can be heard is the wind blowing in between the houses. A man is sleeping in his bed. He sleeps lightly, for he had earlier criticized his Spartan overlords. As a helot, it was not his place, and he knew that he could very well be punished. At that moment, he hears his window creak open. By the time he opens his eyes, he's too late. All he sees is a tall, muscular man, a hand over his mouth, and a dagger in his chest. While this scene may seem like something out of an action movie, this is actually something that could very well have happened. We often associate the concept of the secret police with the dictatorships of the 20th century in Europe and Asia, but in reality, these regimes got their ideas from a secret police from the ancient Spartans. Before we get into the details of the Spartan secret police, it is vital to state the context for how and why they were created. When Spartan boys had finished their strict military training program called the Agoge, the strongest and most cunning would be chosen for a program to prove their loyalty to the Spartan state. As mentioned in the introduction, the Laconian Plain was the land on which the Peloponnese Peninsula that was directly controlled by the city-state of Sparta. Since this was where the Spartans grew most of their food, this is also where they had their serfs, which they called helots. These helots had revolted during the Second Mycenaean War, and ever since, the Spartan government kept close watch over their serf populations so that way they could harvest grain. The Cryptea was a secret police force founded by the Spartan government that was meant to scare their serfs into submission, train their young soldiers, and silence the opposition to prevent an uprising from ever occurring again. Young Spartans would be sent into the villages of Laconia at night, and their targets would be to go and kill and leave no trace. If they were caught or were sloppy, then they would be brutally punished back in Sparta. It was likely that the Cryptea was a training regimen not only to shape the way that younger Spartans were as young soldiers, but also to force them to serve the state. Once a Spartan had blood on his hands, they were seen as part of the state. They had gone to do the bidding of a nation, and from that point on, there was no turning back. I hope you enjoyed this quick lesser-known history video. Hit that like button and subscribe for more either longer documentary-style videos or for very short, quick lesser-known history videos. Very recently, the channel has been exploding with growth, and I couldn't be more excited to welcome all the new subscribers and viewers to the channel. I have a lot of really cool projects on the way once this pandemic ends, and I can't wait to be able to share them all with you guys. And I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode of Lesser Known History.